Chronic pain is a very serious issue. Did you know that about one in four individuals experience some form of chronic pain? And unfortunately, the treatments that we have today are either very effective but addictive or not very effective. I'm Sergio Pashka, a neuroscientist at the Stanford University School of Medicine. And today, I want to share some exciting new research which will hopefully help us develop new targeted therapies that assist those suffering from pain-related disorders. So what we've done in this new work is really recreate uh, this basic pathway that processes pain uh, from parts. Namely, we've used stem cells to first make the four key components of this pathway by making sensory neurons, spinal cord neurons, thalamic neurons, and then cortical neurons. And then put them all together, of course, in the right order. And it turns out that if you do that, the cells know what to do, and they start connecting with each other in a meaningful way. That allows us, for the first time, to reconstruct the circuit in a dish, and now add, for instance, pain-like stimuli. So for instance, you can add capsaicin, which is present in chili peppers. And if you add that, sensory neurons will now sense that through specialized receptors and sense those electrical signals throughout this pain pathway in a dish. That makes us believe that we have actually reconstructed the basic component of this pain circuit. This is a very exciting time for studying the human brain. For the first time through some of these models that we've been building, we gain access to processes in the human brain that were previously inaccessible. Being able to reconstruct or to build this pain pathway in the lab allows us now to study human genetic disorders or other conditions that are causing pain, and then hopefully at one point to start testing drugs for alleviating uh, some of these chronic pain disorders. Overall, this neural circuit in a dish offers us an exciting new way to study disease and to speed up drug discovery and therapeutic applications, essentially providing us with a working model of a very important part of our human nervous system. <laughs>